What is up? This is James's Aquariums, and I'm mega happy to share this video with you, with you guys today. I filled up the tank of RO water. Now, a little trick that I normally do is ask people if they're doing water changes on their marine tanks because not only will it have traces of salts, because obviously it's marine water and it's RO, it's no good to them because they want to do a fresh change, but to us, it will bring some good bacteria into the tank and it will help cycle it a little bit faster. Now, um, I have decided that the internals go in. I'm going to have an external. Um, three guys donated 25 litres to me. And uh, the first guy drinks in the pub that I've been in once. And my auntie goes in there all the time. He kind of knows my auntie and uncle. Cut the story short. He gave me a 25 litre tub. He gave me it full with the RO water I needed. And also, he gave me this beauty. It's called a halide light or something like that. Needs a bit of cleaning because it's got rust on these pins here and these pins here. But these ones ain't really by the water. I will want to clean them pins up there. Does make a sound listen. I don't know whether you'll be able to listen. But it pulls some light on half off. I'm happy with this. I'm really happy with this. Especially for free. Because I was going to go and buy one yesterday. 50 quid. I thought that was a bargain. But um, yeah, and I've decided that the old light, I'll put a moonlight blue on it to help grow the corals, which the moonlight blue is here, but the guy in the shop's older than me, but they're not the right size, so I'll be taking them back to get my money back um, and get the right size. Not only that, guys, the external, no, the internal, sorry, pump, I ain't really happy with it, don't really move the water around, so I'm going to have an external on there. Um, not only am I going to have an external, I've gone for st some. Uh, I've gone for some sand. Um, now the salt ain't mixed in properly, but I've just chucked it in there because I don't really care because there's nothing in there that will harm. Normally I put it in a bucket and uh, put a pump and a heater in there. But um, yeah, I'm going to have an internal. I mean an external. I keep saying internal, external. And I'm gonna. I've decided I'm gonna have a skimmer now. The guy that gave me this haloid light, um, is, is also giving me some corals, even though he knows I ain't got set up just yet. Um, I'm not gonna rush this one like my past tanks. I'm gonna take my time with it, and um, we'll see how far we go. Remember, that one of the main reasons I'm only doing this is because I'm out of work at the moment um, due to my collapsed lung, and I did try and pick up um, a water bucket earlier. Um, it was literally, I only had a little tiny bit of water in there. I felt like I got stabbed in my chest now. You know, if I could plow on it, I probably would, wouldn't would want to plow on it because it gives too much pain. I mean, over Christmas, I, I'd been back in hospital over Christmas now. I think my sickness ends to the 25th of January. But I, I really want to go back to work. But at the moment, not only do I feel like I can't, the doctors are telling me I'm not allowed to because certain reasons so um and i know a few people from work are watching these videos so hopefully you've enjoyed them and all everyone else has enjoyed them who watches them budget reef builds please thumbs up and comment peace out